spend the rest of their lives together. Oh, I can't look at you. <laughs> Marriage requires each person to be willing to support the other in both good times and in bad. It provides a level of joy that one person by themselves cannot reach and a type of love that only two people can create together. Thomas and Marcus, you fell in love by chance, but you're here today because you're making a choice. You are both choosing each other. You've chosen to be with someone who enhances you, who makes you think, makes you smile, and makes every single day that much brighter. You're about to make promises to each other that you intend to keep. You're going to vow to take care of each other, to stand up for one another, and find happiness in the other. And there's a simple premise to each of these promises. You're vowing to really be there. You're teaming up to the other and saying, every experience I'm going to have, I want you to be a part of it. Thomas and Marcus, please join hands, look one each other in the eye, and remember this moment. Thomas, with this understanding, do you take Marcus to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, to love, honor, comfort, and cherish in sickness and in health, for richer and for poorer, forsaking all others as both as you shall live? I do. Marcus, with this understanding, do you take Thomas to be your lawfully wedded husband, to have and to hold from this day forward, to love, honor, comfort, and cherish in sickness and in health, for richer and for poorer, forsaking all others, as long as you both shall live. Let us present the rings. Rings are a symbol of unbroken circle of love. Love freely given has no beginning, it has no end, no giver and no receiver, for each is the giver and each is the receiver. May these rings always remind you of the vows you are taking today. At this time, before proceeding with the unity ceremony, I'd invite the couple to share in their vows. Thomas, place Marcus's ring on his finger and repeat the vows you have written for him. I probably can't get through much, so. I love you so much. And I'm so happy that I found you in the time that I did. And I'm here to share it with everybody. Marcus, please place Thomas's ring on his finger and repeat the vows that you have written for him. Thomas, I love you not only for what you are, but what, what but what I am when I'm with you. I love you not only for what you have made me, but what you have made of yourself as well. I love you because you have done more than any creed could have done to make me good, and more than any fate could have done to make me happy. You have done it without a touch, a word, without a sign. You have done it by being yourself. Perhaps that is what being a friend means, after all. <laughs> all right. Let us proceed with the uni ceremony, joining the marriage, families, and community together as one. Love is a force more formidable than any other. It cannot be seen or measured, yet it's powerful enough to transform you in a single moment and offer you more joy than any material possession ever could. Although this love joins you together as one, remember the gift of your individuality. Cherish and affirm your differences as you love each other. Be supportive of your strengths and tender towards your weaknesses. Laugh together, cry together, and be comforted by each other's presence and secure in each other's absence. 
to symbolize the importance of each of you within the marriage and the joining of your two lives into one marriage, three colors of sand will now be combined in a sand ceremony. We begin with a layer of white sand, which symbolizes the foundation of the relationship. Thomas and Marcus will each separately pour their own sands into the vase, symbolizing who they are as individuals. Then they'll pour their sand together, blending their two colors as a symbol of joining together forever in love. Lastly, I will add another layer of white sand representing you, their community, family, and friends, supporting them in their marriage and holding them in love. The grains of sand cannot be separated. They will remain joined in a harmonious whole. May your love be as eternal and inseparable as the sand. All right, go ahead and hold hands. Thomas and Marcus, you have come here today of your own free will and in the presence of your family and your loved ones. You have declared your love and commitment to each other. You have given and received a ring as a symbol of your promises by the power your love and commitment to each other, and by the power vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and husband. Thomas and Marcus, you may now seal your vows with a kiss. Congratulations, family, friends, and loved ones. I now present you, present you with the newly married couple, Thomas and Marcus Blanton Shadle. Let's hear it. <laughs>